All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Econ 201, the Principles of Macro course online version here. Uh, so this is just kind of an introduction to myself and to the course and sort of set the expectations in terms of what we'll be doing and how the course will be operating, which is a bit unprecedented um, this year, uh, this academic year, as, as we're dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. So what to expect? Well, first of all, hello. Nice to meet all of you virtually. Our first kind of order of business here is I just want to go over the, the syllabus or at least the essential parts to give you a sense of how am I going to operate the course. So what do I need to know to get started? What are the important things to be keeping track of from the get-go? And I'll try to give you an idea uh, today of how best to manage this course. So I think if you follow uh, my advice, at least uh, as best you can, that you'll find uh, that you have a pretty successful uh, run in my class. So the, the syllabus, if I can bring it up here, is available on Canvas uh, under the syllabus section. So I've got just some basic information, my email address, um, office phone number, and you can feel free to contact me at at either of those. Uh, I have office hours here. There's actually um, not uh, not just for any particular section. I'll have that fixed uh, when it's posted. Um, so these will be uh, sort of virtual office hours that I'll set up a Collaborate Ultra session every Tuesday during this time period. And I'll be there uh, to answer any questions that, uh, that you may have. Now, uh, if I understand you may have classes that, that meet during that time and, and you can't make it. Um, certainly let me know and we can schedule another time to answer any questions that you may have. So um, in terms of the textbook, and some of you have asked me this in advance, um, there is a textbook that I, I have listed for the class, but it's listed as recommended. So. Generally speaking, I'll, I'll follow the textbook reasonably closely, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, but all the information that you'll need to successfully complete the class, I will be giving you in uh, the sort of uh, lectures or, or the online content that I will be delivering. So uh, whether or not you need the textbook is really just a personal preference uh, type of thing, right? So some people really like to have uh, the information there to read, and that tends to make it easier for you. Other people are fine with just sort of a visual um, presentation of, of the material, and so it's, it's really up to you, and you can try it, you know, start with just the lectures and see how it goes. Um, but, you know, there's a first edition of the book, and if you find used versions of the first edition, they, they may be relatively cheap, and so that certainly is, is an option that will work for you. I've also got a, a link here um, to a Wall Street Journal subscription. Um, these are really cheap for students, uh, and so I think it's a good deal. And I'll, I'll frequently be posting articles that relate to the material from class. And I think if you're able to access those, um, that will enhance kind of your experience. So if you really start to like the material, I think that will give you a, a good perspective for how this information applies to the real world. So I've also got um, some things here. It's just right now you don't have to worry about it. Just some books that kind of apply to class, ones that I have read and enjoyed, um, but there's no requirement. We won't talk about them in class or, or use any of the material specifically. So um, yeah, so there's uh, some course description and, and other things that have to do with uh, learning goals and, and things of this nature. Um, but let me just kind of first talk about the basic structure of the class. So obviously we're, we're running the class online and it's listed as asynchronous. And so effectively I want you to think of the material as occurring in weeks. So every week I'm going to publish new content to Canvas. Now this is going to be a set of lecture notes. And then I'm going to post uh, links to YouTube videos uh, where I will be going through and discussing those notes in, in smaller bits. So, you know, 
the videos are going to tend to be somewhere in the 10 to 15 minute range for each one um, and you know all the material may or may not add up to you know uh, exactly three hours per week probably less um, but that will be sort of your first contact point every week is to log into canvas look at uh, the material that's up there and published for that week and then kind of begin working through them as best you can um, typically every week we're going to have uh, an assignment due and probably a group discussion uh, both of which I'll, I'll talk about a little bit more in the grade section so um, yeah so the, the lectures you know will be broken up into into smaller bits and organized in a way that you know kind of sequentially where am I supposed to go to to learn the material um, so even though it's asynchronous you know I'm sure you you've heard this before from from other classes you may have taken in this format the best way to do this successfully is to block out a time that you're going to work on this class, uh, be it every day if you can, um, doesn't have to be, if it's once a week, twice a week, whatever the case is, try to block that time off and always dedicate that time to working on the class. Um, if you build that habit, you won't have to think about it. You can just go ahead and tackle the material knock out the homework assignments and I think you'll find that things run pretty smoothly if you put it off and you try to, to catch up right before an exam or something like that or before the homework assignment then life gets a little bit more difficult so uh, certainly do your best there as you can all right now the part that uh, typically you're most concerned about is the grades for class so here's a breakdown of my sort of grading scheme um, and there's kind of, you know, really I would call it three main parts to the course. There will be assignments uh, that will be available on Canvas. And there's discussions, which are also available on Canvas. And then exams, and there are three exams, two midterms and a final. They each count for 25% uh, of your grade. So <laughs> the homeworks... Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about this in, in the next video when we kind of get into the, the notes about my philosophy uh, for how the course should run. Uh, but the homework assignments are, are very important for two reasons. One, the assignments um, are worth 15% of your grade. So um, the, the better you do on those, the better your grade in the course is going to be. But more importantly, all of the exams will be based off of those assignments. So um, with the assignments, I'm trying to signal to you, this is what I want you to know. And you can do the assignments. And if you keep track of the information you know well and can get correct answers for and feel confident in, keep track of the things you're not getting, then it will tell you exactly what do I need to do before the exam to fix the mistakes and ensure that I do well. So I think if you do that and you stay organized, uh, the class is going to go very smoothly. So assignments are going to be up typically almost every week. Um, now, I know that that can be a lot of work, um, but I think you'll find that it keeps you on top of things. And, and come the exam, life is going to be much, much easier than it would be uh, maybe even in a standard course where you, you put off studying for the exam until uh, closer to the last minute. Now, um, so even though there's weekly uh, assignments, you'll notice here, if I can... Just kind of highlight this part. Uh, you get to drop your two lowest homework scores. So I do that for two reasons. One, you know, life happens and stuff doesn't always go as well as you hoped. Uh, so whether you have time or, you know, you, you run out of time and you can't do the assignment as well as you hoped, doesn't go great. Uh, I don't want you to, to stress out about that too much. So if you have a bad homework assignment, no big deal. You can let it slide. Also, Related, things are going to come up. You're not going to have time to do it. The deadline's going to pass. Uh, whether or not you have a valid excuse for missing it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, you get to drop your two lowest homework scores, so you miss one, don't sweat it. Not a big deal. So that's the, the point of dropping your two lowest, and keep that policy in mind. Now, the discussions slash participation, 10% of your grade, You've all been assigned a, and it was randomly, a discussion group. So there's 10 groups um, split between the two sections of this course. 
Um, now, every week or, or you know, close to every week, might not be every week, I'm going to post a discussion question. And what I need you to do is in your groups then, which, which will, should happen automatically in Canvas, you need to post some thoughts to kind of get the discussion rolling. Um, now, hopefully the, the questions are such that, uh, you know, you, you actually enjoy having the discussion with your classmates. Uh, but in terms of grading it, it's just pass or fail, which is, is noted down here. So if you, if you do it, you'll get credit for that and it will count towards your grade. If you don't do it, you won't get credit. Now, obviously, you have to make an attempt to actually enter the discussion, right? So just saying hi or some very simple, you know, very quick sentence or something like that. Um, just to get it done, I'm, I'm going to notice that and, and you probably won't get credit. So try to take the discussions, you know, somewhat seriously. I, I'm not saying you have to spend, you know, hours every week uh, working on the discussion. It's just something I want you to spend, you know, 10 to 15 minutes on thinking about uh, writing a response. And as students talk to each other, you can respond to, to each other and, and hopefully we get some, some decent discussions going on and I'll, I'll try to participate uh, and respond to various uh, comments as, as we go through. Uh, so certainly, you know, I'll be watching it. So we, we obviously have to keep things uh, civil and in, in all of that. So uh, please be respectful of your, of your classmates in that sense. All right. So um, those are the, the two main things, uh, especially to start. And so on the very first week here, we are going to have uh, a, a discussion due on Friday of this week, February 5th, and a homework assignment, a first homework assignment due on Sunday. So I know that's a lot, you know, the first week, uh, but I want to make sure that we're all into this and we're moving along. Uh, so one other thing I just remembered about the homeworks I want you to remember is that as you take it, you're going to get two attempts to do the homework assignment. So uh, it will or it should tell you whether or not which questions you got incorrect. Now it won't tell you the right answer uh, until after your second attempt, but if you go through and you get, you know, say there's 12 questions, you get nine out of 12, it will tell you which questions you got incorrect. So if you kind of keep track and take good notes about the questions and what you were answering, that should help you get a second chance to go through and think about it and come up with um, the correct answer. Um, and so that, that's just uh, one note there with the homework assignments that I want you to keep in mind. You'll get a second chance. So, so kind of keep track of, of what you're doing and what you answered. And like I said, you know, that'll be a good um, help for studying for the exams. All right, so then we'll have some exams. They're pretty straightforward. They'll be multiple choice. They'll be posted on Canvas. I'll have more information about those uh, closer to the exam dates. Um, the other important item here that I want to talk about in the syllabus is the pre and post test. So that should be up there. I think it's due on the 14th of February is a pre-test. So this is something that, that we're required to do. And um, since I need all of you to do it, I'm going to offer you some incentive to do it. So the very first homework score that you get in the 10 to 15 percent of your grade is going to be pass fail. So basically, I just need you to go in and do the pretest. Your score does not matter. If you've done it, then you're all set. You don't have to worry about anything. You will get 100 percent for the very first homework assignment and, and you're ready to go. OK. Um, now, the other advantage of doing the pretest is that it will allow you to do the post test. So the post test will happen at the end of the semester, obviously. And as you can see here, I've offered some extra credit for how you do on the post test. So for every point above 14 you get on the post test correct, you will get one percentage point additional on your final exam score. So in my example, if you got 75%, on your final exam and you got 19 out of 20 on the post test that's five extra percent on your final will take you up to 80 percent so you have to do the pretest in order to have this option so um, please make sure that that you do that um, so yeah i think that's the the bulk of this syllabus that i wanted to 
to cover. Um, just to kind of point out the pre-post-test thing I need you to do, I'll send you a reminder about that. Um, and to kind of give you a sense of how this, this class is going to work. So uh, that will be it for this uh, short introduction. And I will come back kind of in the next video to give you a little rundown of the class and we'll kind of get into some of the introductory topics. So uh, great to sort of meet all of you virtually. Uh, don't be strangers. Uh, let me know how things are going and hopefully we'll have a fun and smooth semester.